It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, we start with Mark Chestnut, country singer. Uh, he and his wife, not only both trying to recover from COVID, he's trying to recover from back surgery. Oh, that stinks. Yeah, it's like double whammy. What uh, hurts worse? That's a good question. Uh, he let us know that yesterday uh, on social media. Uh, Dan and Shay, they released their new album Friday. It went gold on Friday. It's the first country album in the streaming era to go gold on release day, Candy. So happy for them. Yeah, those guys are doing well. We love them. So happy for them. Dan had a birthday yesterday, too. Yes. Ah. And Reba putting out a three-part box set October 8th. It shall be released. Uh, there is a TV drama coming to Peacock based on Field of Dreams, the movie. Uh, I don't know what the series is going to look like, you know? I mean, it's, yeah. it's based on the movie, but... You know, I don't, you know, who knows? I don't know exactly what uh, what's going to take place there, but uh, they have some big name uh, TV producers and directors involved, and we shall see. If you Do we have the Peacock Network? How do I get that? I don't. Hmm. I think we. it's an app you have to download like all of the others. Um, it's like a streaming service? For yeah. It. yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, Adidas putting out Monday, this coming Monday, the first uh, ever Patrick Mahomes shoe candy. Well, I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Uh, he's, uh, man, he has taken over uh, Missouri. Can, you know, Kansas City, uh, he's got the, the... We love him. I love him. He's got part of the Chiefs, right? He owns part of the Chiefs and the Royals. Yeah, he's and he's a smart young man. Soccer team and all sorts of stuff, yeah. Uh, Kelly McCreary from Grey's Anatomy expecting her first child. That's nice. Yeah, I don't know what character she plays. We were discussing this. What are they up to, like, season... 18 or something over there? absolutely no idea. Me and you don't watch the show. Nope, never saw one. And it's funny because my my buddy Murph, uh, you know, he works for our company down in Florida. He said he was binge watching uh, with his wife, Grey's Anatomy. They were up to like season 11. I'm like, I haven't seen one episode. Not one, not one. I know Ellen Pompeo was on it and Patrick Dempsey was on it. That's all I really know about Grey's Anatomy. McDreamy, that's all I know as well. That's right. Um... Selma Blair, who has been kind of walking Christina Applegate through her MS diagnosis, Mm -hmm. uh, now says, Selma Blair says, she herself is in remission from MS due to her stem cell transplant from two years ago. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't know you could go into remission. I knew you could go into remission. I uh, had a friend who's since passed away, but, you know, she had MS, and uh, she would have, you know, times where she would be in remission. Hmm. I knew there was remission, but I didn't know anything about the stem cell. Very interesting. Uh, Marie Kondo, that's your girl. Yes. She's got a new trailer out for a show coming to Netflix called Sparking Joy. Let's see if we can spark some joy here today, shall we? Yeah, she's your, you know, you'll watch that and report back to me. She's your girl. I shall, yes. Um, The Talk, looking for another male co-host. You know, they brought Jerry O'Connell on recently. And I love Jerry. Nothing wrong with him at all. But the show is done. Goodbye. See ya. Yeah, Jerry O'Connell is, uh, you know, there's certain people, tell me if you agree with this, there's certain people in acting and talk shows and stuff that you could sit and listen to all day. Jerry O'Connell, I believe, is one of those people. Uh, We all know Paul Rudd is one of those people, Candy. Yes. Right? You agree with that? I like Jerry better, but yes. Uh, Jason Bateman, one of those people? Yes. You see? Yes, very much so. There you go. I'm, Mm -hmm. uh, like, if a Jason Bateman movie is on television, doesn't matter which one it is. I'm in. I'm all in. And then, of course, Ozark is filming another season. So, Ah. yeah. Uh, And the Atlanta Falcons are the first NFL team to be 100% fully vaxxed. Now, you're shocked they're fully vaxxed, and I'm shocked not all the teams are fully vaxxed. I don't get it. Yeah, well, I will tell you how difficult it is to fully vax a football team. You have, first of all, it's the most players of any sport, more than NBA, baseball, hockey. There could be... 70. What's the wait not to get vaccinated? Yeah. I understand. What's that? The wait. Why are people well, waiting not I, to do it? I, 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 listen, I'm not going to get... We could get into a raging debate. You, I understand. Okay. Really, if you, I'm like pushing and shoving people and tackling them and spit and right. blood and everything else is falling from the skies, I'm getting vaccinated. I, I agree with you, but you are, you are... These are two different conversations. You and I both believe 
you, you got to get the vaccine to stay alive. Everyone, you know, uh, do the right thing, keep everyone healthy. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking about why a football team, why it's so hard to get a football team 100% vaccinated. And the reason is there's about 70 to 80 players in a locker room. And then you count coaches and all that. You could have about 100 people on a team. And it is a true melting pot. You have so many different backgrounds religions races all different and candy you know it's like it's almost like a microcosm of society you know how hard it is to get all the different people in an nfl locker room to agree on anything so that's i'm the reason. surprised what do i know i'm uh, naive well the atlanta falcons hopefully it continues the atlanta falcons are the first team to be fully vaxxed in the nfl 100 percent uh Tonight on TV, America's Got Talent, NBC, Fantasy Island on Fox. And there you have it. You're bald and the beautiful. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.